Welcome friends to another Wheel of Time video. Today we are going to look at the secret Arja within the Aes Sedai, hidden within the ranks of the other Arjas, the Black Arja. Historical spoilers for the books throughout. Let's get into it. The Black Arja's ranks are made of Dark Friends, those who align with the Dark One, and they pretend to be members of other Arjas within the Aes Sedai, but have broken their oaths. The head of the secret Aja is the leader of the Supreme Council and answers directly to the Forsaken, male and female Aes Sedai who joined with the Dark One. Roughly 20% of every colour of Aja has been infiltrated by them, around 200 out of the 950 Aes Sedai overall. Those who survived the breaking of the world recruited others and made small groups but they fought against each other, and so remained fragmented. When the White Tower was founded, these groups were wiped out, or became part of the Aes Sedai. The threat to them at the time was the adoption of the Oath against lying, which might expose them, and how they would not be allowed to use the One Power as a weapon, which they must be used to doing at this point, having survived the breaking of the world. But they did persist, mainly because within the Aes Sedai, it was not believed the Black Aja existed. Ishmael organised these groups into the Black Aja prior to the Trolloc Wars. Ishmael is a member of the Forsaken who served the Dark One. They were bound by oaths, more on that later. The Black Aja, once established, wanted to have control over non-channeler Dark Friends, in other words, people who could not use magic, but were aligned with the Dark One. The Aja itself was being subservient to the Forsaken, just like other Dark Friends. But such was the fight back from the Dark Friend cells, these attempts failed in the end. The last attempt reduced the Black Aja's rank within the Dark One's followers, as they had to announce any claim to command other Dark Friends, and their votes in the Dark Friend Congress was reduced because of it. Most Aes Sedai who joined the Black Aja were not Dark Friends before they joined. They would be watched by existing members for years and approached if it is decided that the sister might be open to swearing to the father of lies. Qualities of such recruits can be seen if they feel trapped by the three oaths of the Aes Sedai, which are to speak no word that is not true, to make no weapon with which one may kill another, never to use the one power as a weapon except against dark friends or shadow spawn, or in the last extreme defence of your life, the life of your warder or another Aes Sedai, or you take delight in having power over non-channelers and perhaps abuse others with it. You would have that freedom with the power as a black Aja, the price being your fealty to the Dark One. From even early in training, candidates can be found amongst the Aes Sedai. The position of a teacher to that of, of a novice and accepted helps them with this recruitment. If a sister is able to find a trace of the Black Aja, she is brought to face the Supreme Council and asked if she wants to join. Say no and the sister will be tortured and all information wrung out of her and then she will be killed. Say yes and she is sworn in at once and then tested for a year. Each task she is given will not be a vital thing for the Aja, but part of the test. You can be placed in danger or given harsh penance also as part of it. The Supreme Council oversee the Black Sisters. Thirteen sisters make up its ranks. All are hooded, so one sister does not know another, and should one die, they are replaced to keep the number at thirteen. The head of the council knows every sister in the Aja. Those placed in different Ajas are grouped together and given the term Hearts. Hearts covers three sisters. They know who the others are within the group 
and each know one sister from another group of three. Every member of the council would know the name of some black sisters, so that should several deaths occur, it would not hurt the Aja's structure. A sister could be summoned by other black Aja, by just being snatched, with no prior knowledge for the reason behind the meeting, to give a report. The Aja also has three binding oaths which we will cover now. They are, I shall obey all commands given by those placed above me in service to the great Lord, most likely the forsaken. I shall prepare for the day of the great Lord's return, and I shall hold close the secrets of the Black Aja unto the hour of my death. Now what is the purpose of the Black Aja within the White Tower? The first was to undermine the Aes Sedai's authority in the larger world, and another to lessen the number of initiates in the Aes Sedai aligned with the forces of light, and to help their own cause by creating conflict between the other Ajas. Now friends, I turn this over to you. What do you think to how the Black Azure operates? Have you been recruited into their ranks? Comment down below.